Right. And let's right. be clear. I know a whole lot more than I'm going to say here tonight or at in her. And she said, and blip, 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 blip. I have all my receipts, every single one of them. So I'm not worried about anybody's opinion of what I'm about to say. This is the truth. So, uh, yeah, about, I don't know, beginning of our, well, we all saw that Kelly announced that she had COVID on, on social media, right? And, um, we were all concerned. You know, I, I talked to Kelly a few times prior to that. I think I invited her to my birthday party and we had talked about a few other things. Her mother, her, I'm sorry, her, her, her grandmother uh, passed away. So I was, of course, reaching out as everybody in this industry will tell you, we all kind of, few of us, you know, kind of really genuinely care about each other and really check in with each other. So I was checking in with her. Uh, Kelly uh, never responded. I sent her a text after, you know, I gave her some time after she made the announcement, sent her a text. I think I sent her a DM. She never responded. So we then started getting requests. And by we, I mean Brownstone. We started getting requests to fill in for Kelly's dates. So we got a request to fill in for her date in Philly. We said, you know what? This is a date in Philly. This is great. Um, we hate that Kelly's not here, but let's go rock it out and let's do a Kelly Price tribute and let's say, hey, Kelly, get better. Sure and we added a Kelly Price tribute in the show. The band did a little number. We like, Kelly, we sure praying for you. We hope you get better. Blah, 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 blah. After the show, we like, oh, wow, this was fun. You know, whatever. Then our manager called us again and she said, ladies, we got another date that Kelly was supposed to play in Detroit. We like, oh, shoot, Detroit. That's the crib. Like, of course, we'll do that. But what's right. going on with Kelly? Is she OK? Genuinely concerned. Yes, it's good to get a date. But guess what? I ain't doing shit for clout. So the date didn't mean a damn thing to me. What mattered to me was knowing what was going on with my friend. So I call, I, I sent another text, no response. I hit, you know, some other friends in the industry. I'm not going to bring those people's names into this because they didn't ask uh -huh. to be involved in my life. But I, I, I reached out to friends that I know love Kelly and know are good people and ain't going to be salacious and going to keep it private. And I'm like, yo, we're playing these dates for Kelly. What's going on with Kelly? Is, have you talked to her? Not one single solitary person had heard from Kelly. So I'm like, this is weird. Like, is she okay? Does anybody know if she's okay? Nobody heard from her. So I said, well, you know what? I don't want to violate her privacy. And I would be kind of mad if somebody reached out to my family without me knowing. But let me wait a little longer. Waited a little longer. We got a call for a third date in New Jersey for Kelly Price. And I was like, okay, this is something going on. Ain't nobody missing no money. Something must be serious with Kelly. Nobody's missing out on some 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 money. Somebody, something's got to be serious. So I reached out to Nia, her daughter, who I've met, who I know is her daughter. Um, I said, Nia, I reached out to her and said, just checking in, sweetheart. You know, we're playing some dates that your mom is playing. Please tell me everything is okay. Is she okay? Right? Nia's response to me was immediate and very serious. I'm not going to go into the specific details of that, but she said, Miss Nikki, can you please call me? It's important. When she said it, I said to my husband, oh my God, this sounds like something could be wrong. I'm scared to even call her back. I don't want to get mm -hmm. drug in the middle of it. I'm scared to get, but I want to make sure Kelly's okay. I said, well, if she calls me back, I'll wait. If she calls me back, then I will return her call because I don't want her to feel like I'm not going there for her or I'm not willing to talk to her. So Kelly's daughter, Nia, called me a few times back to back. Are you can you talk? Can you talk? And we were really preparing for some stuff and I just didn't want to, um, you know, I didn't want to. Anyway, called her. She wanted me. She wanted me face to face. I said instead of meeting face to face is COVID. I would like for us to talk on the phone. So she 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 called me and she said, Miss Nikki, it's not good. It's not good at all. She said, my mom is in trouble. I said, Nia, what, what do you mean? What's going on? She said, my mom is very ill. The last time I saw my mother, she was in intensive care. Um, she had tubes all down her throat. She could not speak. I'm afraid. I don't know what to do. Now, this is really important for y'all to, 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 to rec realize. And again, I'm only sharing this because there's a narrative out there that's all wrong about my involvement in this. This was probably five weeks ago. I'm not giving y'all specifics and dates. 
So I called Nia. I, I was like, Nia, you know, well, what can you do? Can you call, you know, this person? Can you call that person? I know she was working with this person. She said to me, there is no one that I am comfortable having this conversation with but you. Now, I don't know what the dynamics are going on in, in the family. I don't know. It doesn't matter. My friend is on life support. I'm shocked that I'm the person that she's like, I need to talk to you. She's that like, she but I see right. your advocacy. Right. I know my mom respects you. I know you have my mother's back. Will you please talk to me about what I need to do for my mom? There are not a lot of people I can trust. So she told me what was going on, what they had huh. been working on. She gave me a lot of details that I'm not going to repeat here for headlines and fodder and for people to have opinions about. But um, I'm, huh. sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, so uh -uh. I said, Nia, I said, I got your back. I said, but I want to try to play this from the background because I remembered when I spoke up for Whitney Houston what that backlash mm -hmm. was. Um, I never spoke about Maxie because of what, you know, I'm like, oh, people just want to run with stuff. You know what I mean? I said, so I'm kind of PTSD a little bit with talking about stuff like this, but I'm going to help you, baby, because your mother is a woman in this industry that we all know and love. And if you're telling me that you've reached out to everyone else and no one else is helping you, I'm not going to turn my back on you, Mia. That's right. So uh -huh. I call Chris. I call Tisha. I call Pam. I called Toshi. I called my village. And I said, how can you help me navigate this? Because I'm stuck between caring a lot about my friend and making sure she's okay. There's a fine line between minding your business and checking, looking out for your friend and making sure everything's okay. And if it was anybody but her daughter, I, I, they said, Nikki, Tisha, we will tell you have an obligation to listen and to do whatever uh -huh. it is that you can do to help. Just lay low. Well, Nia, mm -hmm. I said, sweetheart, I'm here for you. I helped her with some other things we're not going to discuss. And then I started to call a few more people like, hey, Nia called me. Nia, Nia you know, has, has concern about her mother. And literally everybody I called in all their defense said, maybe Kelly just doesn't want to be bothered. Maybe Kelly is just, you know, healing. And she, you know, you don't know the dynamic. Maybe she doesn't want to be bothered. So now I'm stuck between a daughter who I know to have a good relationship with her mother and a um, a daughter and a, 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 a bunch of other people who kind of like, look, maybe it's not so serious and I'm stuck. So 